Welcome to NVM's interview segment. Today we have the distinct pleasure of talking with Miss Kay Parker, one of the foremost adult film stars of the 80s, whose hit film, Taboo, has been a national bestseller for the last two years. Kay, tell us, why was your film so controversial? Well, I think first and foremostly the title itself, Taboo, is just something that's just going to draw like a magnet, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that's human nature. And, um, and above and beyond that, it deals with a subject that um, has been very controversial for a long, long time. In fact, people don't even talk about it. It's so controversial, and that is incest. Uh, in the film, I play a, uh, a wife who is abandoned by her husband for a younger woman and who, in her desperation and frustration and passion, turns to her young, handsome, sexual son, and she seduces him. And, uh, and so I think, I think the film itself appeals to, you know, that, that sense that's within all of us that wonders about things like that, that, that are, from my way of thinking, a very common occurrence in everyday life. And certainly the emotion of that very situation uh, it was very real to me, even though I'm, I'm not a mother, but I, I had great empathy for the character, and I could see how a situation like that might evolve. So, um, uh, and I th I, so I think that's, that's partly due to, uh, I think the interest in the film is partly due to all of that. And I'll take some of the credit. Oh, you should, <laughs> as well you should. Uh, have you noticed a definite trend towards quality adult films in the last few years? Most definitely. And, and I think um, that's because of the, uh, the expansion in, in video, home yeah. video. Uh, the market is rapidly expanding, and we find that we have more and more viewers, uh, more diversified kinds of viewers, particularly women. Mm -hmm. Women constitute a very large percentage of the home viewing audience at this point. Uh, it's nice because couples watch adult films anymore, uh, which well, it wasn't always that way. You know, before before the video market, we were dealing with theaters and the Raincoat Brigade. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice. I feel very good in that that it's expanding, and because of that, I think women, for the most part, want they want uh, plots. They want to see the characters. Uh, I, I don't always feel that men want to see that so much, and maybe they do. But uh, um, so, I th so I think because of that, you know, because of the female influence now, that, that we are getting better, better quality films. Your second hit, Body Talk, uh, seems, to have, seems to have gone in another direction, away from the X-rated category into more of, a, into more of a, an R-rated category. Uh, do, you, do you find yourself in the industry moving towards the R-rated and out of the X-rated uh, film industry? Well, I don't know if the X-rated industry will merge into the R-rated. Uh, Body Talk happens to be a film that has relatively little sex in it. Mm -hmm. It has a very strong plot and a very dramatic one and um, deals with uh, a couple of more mature women and their problems. Uh, I play one of the women involved. And um, I think it's kind of an interesting film because of that. It's a different kind of film. VCX, which is the company that, um, uh, that distribute both this film and Taboo, um, I really feel that they're one of the companies that are striving to produce and distribute better quality adult films with more substance and more honest, maybe, character development and storylines. Do you feel the quality of the actors and actresses uh, in adult films now has made a big difference as far as the quality of the films themselves? Well, yeah, because we, we're, we're a very young industry, and um, several years ago, there really weren't that many quality actors in the business because, first of all, there wasn't the money to pay them, the incentive wasn't there. We were dealing with mostly stag films. But now, with the growth of the industry, obviously people want better acting abilities, and so that's opened the doors maybe for people who were interested in performing erotica to, to act. I, I, for one, um, consider myself first and foremost an actress. It just so happened that I, that I dropped into adult films and, uh, um, and the, the sex 
in, in the performances is just an extension of the acting for me. Do you think you find yourself uh, going farther and farther away from adult films and more into a, a PG type of uh, acting career? Or is adult films uh, some place where, you, where you'd like to stay for a while? I have a very strong loyalty for adult films because there's a great deal of honesty in sex films. Mm -hmm. And um, in a society where I see it's a natural transition that we're going through it now, people, more and more people's sexuality is coming out of the closet and they're dealing with it. And uh, um, I, I enjoy being part of that because I always try to uh, inject as much sensuality as I can into my performances and, and loving and honesty. And I've seen where there's been a lack of that in these films. And my involvement gives me an opportunity to, to maybe contribute a little bit to that, to, to that transition. And, uh, and I wouldn't say no to, to uh, PG-type films either. You know, I'm an actress. I'll, I'll take the work where I can get it. <laughs> Kay, have you found that adult films have opened up your own sexuality? Oh, absolutely. In absolutely.